one of these two games kicked my butt. I'm not going to tell you. Actually, I will. Hello, everybody. This is Ketchy1380 with Ketchy Gaming, and this is episode 100 of the Epic Store Weekly Game Giveaway. Technically, it's two games this week, but yeah, whatever. Semantics. Anyways, the first game is DNF Duel, which it... DNF stands for Dungeons and Fighter. I, I mean, I didn't play too long, but uh, I didn't see any dungeons. I started off in story mode, and I instantly regretted that because uh, nothing really happened. And not particularly fond of uh, games that just use stills for their cutscenes. And although there's nothing really wrong with it, it's not in English either. Uh, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, my eyes are at the bottom of the screen instead of what's happening on the top or middle of the screen. So I'm, I'm not catching what's happening. But then again, you know, all the images are still. I also didn't find what was happening in the story to be intriguing at all. And I just decided to randomly go with Stryker, the character that's in the front of the icon when you pick the game up from the Epic Game Store. Only thing I really noticed about her, other than her hair being really long, is she has some freakishly big hands. I mean, if you just rewind or wait for another scene with her in there, her fingers are, and palms are just absolutely huge. And no, her hands and fingers are not code word for some other part of her. I don't care about that part. It's just her hands are freakishly big as in comparison to the rest of her body. So actually wading through this cutscene that never ended, it, it, it probably took me like a good solid 10 minutes to get through all of it because I had to read each and every part. I finally got to the first fight. So I don't think it's my rig. It's not a sluggish rig by any means, even though it's getting up there in age it seems developers have been a little bit more conscious about people maintaining older rigs i mean i have a 3060 in there so it's still good as far as i'm concerned but the animation is it's a bit off i mean it looks pretty it has a nice sort of uh, art style everything's smooth but the actual movement it, it feels like they're skipping frames and, I, and like I said, I thought it was my rig, but I think it's actually kind of intentional. So it has this weird appearance when you're fighting. And it makes it, I don't know, a little... Uh, I don't know how to put it. Disjointed and kind of distracting when you're trying to fight. When the animation isn't as smooth as you would think it would be. As for the combat itself, it seems to be just like a standard fighter with an anime-ish kind of art style. I mean, it says it has 2.5D. I've never seen anything 2.5D in the handful of matches I played. But I got, I got bored with it really fast. I'm just not a big fan of fighters. I mean, the most I've ever gotten into is Smash Brothers Melee back in the day. I mean, I occasionally pick up Melee once in a blue moon. Or, sorry, Ultimate. But the only other fighting game I ever got into was Soul Calibur 2 on the GameCube. Because Link was the best bonus fighter. And ever since then, I really just can't get into any fighting game at all. And with its awkward sort of frame rate. I mean, it looks smooth when you're watching it here. But when you're playing it, it's a totally different story. Also, probably because... My editing software changes the frame rate as well. And it's on a smaller screen, so it's probably not as noticeable. But it's there. If you watch carefully, you can see that it's, like, missing frames. And I tried multiple fighters. I didn't try all of them. I got too bored with it to really want to just keep going. I mean, I, I kind of got the gist of it and went, okay. I mean, if you want to try a fighting game, go for it. I really can't recommend it. Oh, I almost forgot some information here. It was originally released on June 27th, 2022 
for PlayStation 5, PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Windows. Developed by Arc System Works, Eighting, and no, I just didn't have a stroke. That's the name of the company. And Neopol. So obviously it's a fighting game. It doesn't seem to be all that liked from what I can see. It's getting about mid-reviews, around 5 or 6. Which would explain the weird frame rate. Or I mean the weird missing frames animation. Anyways, moving on to the next game. So the second game is Signi? Signi? Signa? It's possibly one of those three. I'm not entirely sure. I found multiple pronunciations for the exact same word. It's Greek. So that's saying something. Let's go with Cigna because I, I think that sounds cooler. Cigna, all guns blazing. It is a bullet hell shooter. And this game is hard. I could not beat the first level on normal, regardless of how many times I tried. And easy was kicking my butt as is. So this one was actually released this month on August 5th, 2024. I'm kind of wondering why it was given away for free. But it was. So it was released on PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. I'm guessing the Xbox Series X technically in that sort of frame. Developed by Killworks. Cure Works Limited, and published by Konami slash Konami Digital Entertainment. So this game is actually, whew, it's a it's a busy game. Uh, it's a really busy game with a lot happening on the screen. And I don't know about anybody else, but I have like dyspraxia, and when you throw this much movement at me along with this much bright light, it just messes with my brain. And it's one of the reasons why I stopped playing, like, MMOs, especially the 40-man MMOs. Final Fantasy XIV was, you know, fine at one point, and then they launched their last expansion, and my eyes would just be hurting from all the bright lights and movement and stuff and everything I have to do. So I, I just, I've just given up on MMOs. Anyways, I digress off topic. So, like I said, this is a bullet hell requiring you to dodge, and I'm terrible at dodging. <laughs> And that's part of what made this game kind of on the difficult side. So you have guns that you can just constantly shoot. But if you take a hit, you lose a bit of shield. And you can take power away from your guns to give to your shield. But you weaken your ability to attack. Now, I wish they kind of put a tutorial in place... And they do have like a training, which it's on this screen right here. It's in the bottom right hand corner. And I totally missed it. So I had no idea how to play, which didn't help. So in order to keep your shields and your guns at full power, you destroy enemies. They drop these little sort of objects or triangles and you gather those up and they replenish your shields. You then can take energy from the shields and put them into your guns making them hit harder now they also have ground targets you can shoot at and i didn't learn till smack dab in the middle of this level when i dropped it down to easy that there's a way to switch targets it didn't exactly tell you i mean i looked at the controls eventually and i felt kind of dumb but it also kind of irritated me at the same time that it prioritized what targets i wanted to shoot at instead of the one i was over which you would sort of like instinctually think would be how uh, you would target something instead of, I don't know, telling it to move through targets. I mean, yes, that's an option too, which I would expect, but like right here, you can see that I'm shooting targets, shooting targets, and that'll make me focus on the big one when I want to focus on the little one. I, I think that's just a little too handholdy at that point when they force you to target something you don't particularly care to target. But otherwise, it's, I guess, an entertaining enough game that it made me want to keep trying over and over again, regardless of how punishing it was. It has great sound design, and the visuals are pretty good. Although I, it is, like I said, a 
touch busy when it comes to what's happening on the screen. And when I say I touch, I mean it's way too busy. It, it's kind of hard to tell what's actually happening sometimes. Which is kind of a bad thing. And one of the aspects of this game is once you complete missions, you earn, I guess, credits, which you can then upgrade your ship with. Kind of like shooters of old. Which I'm pretty sure this harkens back to it. It's just a very visually fancy version of said shooters. Like, you're supposed to be able to change the pattern of your guns, but in order to do that, you have to unlock those patterns. Which I didn't know, so I kept pushing the change pattern button and nothing would happen. But I am going to apologize because I'm getting this out very late. Unfortunately, life decides to do its thing and just get in the way. And it took a while for me to be able to actually even get free time and then produce this video this week. But it is free until tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. So go ahead and go on to Epic and download both these games and give it a try. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Have a good one.